Hey, Neil Smith here with U.S. Captain's Training. We are looking at the solution to practice problem seven in our amplitude set. This is a good problem to just try on your own with no references. The GMT, when we calculate that, we stay in the AM side of the chronometer. Um, our GMT lands in the same day as the date we took the bearing. So it keeps this problem very straightforward. This is a good one to just try on your own with no references. Let's get started. All right, practice problem seven. This is calculating compass deviation using amplitude of the sun method while it's on the celestial horizon. So, jot this down. Problem seven. <clears throat> problem seven. And in each of these problems, they give some information. So, what is given in the problem? Let's find that. The date is given. The date in this case is May 9th. May 9th. And this zone time, we can use this a little bit, but we don't need to record it. Really, it's the DR position. So DR position, dead reckoning position, DR position, is equal to latitude 48, 13.7. Latitude 48, 13.7. 48, 13.7. 48 degrees. 13.7 minutes north. Longitude <clears throat> is 168 degrees, 36.3 minutes east. I've learned to take my time with all these numbers. There's a lot of numbers, and you get just a couple of them wrong, and you're not going to get the answer right. So take your time. When the amplitude of the sun is observed, the sun centers on the celestial horizon and bears 283.7 degrees per standard magnetic compass. So the bearing of the sun, we got the sun bearing, which equals to, <clears throat> what do we say? 283.7 degrees PSC. 283.7 degrees PSC. And the variation in the area is 13.0 degrees east. So variation, variation equals 13.0 degrees east. 13.0 degrees east. The chronometer reads 71319, the cron time. Cron time equals 71319. 7. 13, 19 hours, minutes, seconds. And the cron error equals, <clears throat> excuse me, 2 minutes, 56 seconds fast. 2 minutes, 56 seconds, and it's fast. And when it's fast, we subtract it to get it back down to correct. So what is the deviation of the standard? They want to know. Deviation is what we're calculating in this problem. What is that? So the first thing we need to do is get our GMT, our Greenwich Mean Time. GMT, let's get that. What we do here is we take the cron time, which is 7, 13, 19. 7, 13, 19 hours, minutes, seconds. And we put the error, so we're subtracting two minutes and 56 seconds, two minutes, 56 seconds. Okay, so we're running in here. We can't take 56 away from 19. So what we need to do is borrow from here, right? That would make this 12. And this, we add 60. So this would turn to 79, right? 60 plus 19, 79. So now, Whoops, we can go 79 minus 56 equals 23 seconds. 
23 seconds, 12 minus 2, 10 minutes. So 7 hours, 10 minutes, 23 seconds. I think that's good. The chronometer is based on 12 hours. It goes around twice in a day. It's essentially a.m. and p.m. So if we add 12 hours, we get the other side of the chronometer. So 12 plus 7 is 19. So we get 19 hours, 10 minutes, 23 seconds. We have to figure out which one of these times was it in G Greenwich Mean Time when we took our sun bearing. So what we can do is figure out our zone time. It's actually given in the problem is 1809, so we can use that. But we need to take our longitude of 168. Longitude of 168 degrees east, divide it by 15, and get 168 divided by 15 equals 11.2. So we're 11 hours. 11 hours. Now, are we adding or subtracting these? It's east, so we know we're adding it. And we can draw a little graph to explain it. If these are the time zones, and this is Greenwich time, Greenwich mean time, if we go to the east, we add. If we go to the west, we subtract. You could think like New York to L.A. It's earlier in L.A. than New York, right? So it happens here. We're in the east. We're adding it. So this is east. We're adding 11 hours. So if we add 11 hours to these, plus 11 hours, what do we get? Plus 11 hours. So this one we get. 18 hours, 10 minutes, 23 seconds. And this one, if we add it, we get 30. Yeah, we'll get 30. 9 plus 1 is 0. 1 here, 30. Well, you got to subtract 24 hours now, right? We're just moving around days. Minus 24 hours will actually get you 6. 10, 23. So which one of these, which one of these times did we take this? The sun's bearing was 283.7, which that is in the west, which means it was setting, which means we were p.m., we were night. So which one of these is night? This is 6 a.m. in the morning, the next day. This is the night. This is 18 hours at night. So that means this is the GMT we're using. And you got to be careful. We didn't switch days. We're in the same day. So our GMT, GMT is equal to 7, 10, 23, 7, 10, 23. And what day is that? It, same day, May 9th. Now that we have this information, we can jump into the nautical almanac and we can get our declination, right? So our we can get our declination and we can get our D value and figure out if it's going to be added or subtracted from the declination. So May 9th, we'll jump into the nautical almanac. <clears throat> for May 9th, it's going to be near the April, May. Let's get our month straight. May 13, May 10. Here you go. May 7, 8, 9. Here's the sun column. And so May 9th, here's 7, 8, 9. And we are at seven hours. So seven hours. Okay, we're north 17, 21.1. And if we go down to the next hour, we're getting bigger. So we are north 17, 21.1 getting bigger. North 17, 21.1. North 17, 21.1 minutes. And we're getting bigger. So let's get our D correction. It's right down here. D is 0 0.7.
0 0.7 is the D value, rather. And now we get the correction. So we go to the increments for 10 minutes, 23 seconds, and we, we look up the D correction. So we go 10 minutes. Increments for 10 minutes, 8, 9, 10. And so we're using this part of it right here, 7. It was 7. So the correction, here's the D value. The correction was 0 0.1. All right? We'll put that on. So 0 0.1, and it was getting bigger, so we add that, and we get our declination. North, 17 degrees, 21.2. 21.2 minutes. And to put this into our next formula, we need these minutes into degrees, so we divide by 60. So we're going to get our declination equal to north 17 point, whatever this equals. Twenty one point two divided by sixty equals point three five seventeen point three five degrees. This is the declination we're going to use, and now we need to get our latitude. So our latitude equals it was given in the problem forty eight point forty eight degrees thirteen point seven minutes north forty. 8 degrees 13.7 minutes north and to put it in our formula we need to get it all in degrees so we divide it by 60 and we get our latitude equal to 48 point what 13.7 divided by 60 equals 0.23 See that rounding? 0 0.23, 0 0.23 degrees north. This is the latitude we're going to use. Now we're going to plug it into a formula. It says the sine of the amplitude equal to the sine of the declination divided by the cosine of the latitude. So we're going to equal sine of declination Sine of declination, 17.35, 17.35, divided by the cosine of the latitude, 48.23, 48.23. We'll do this math. We'll do sine 17.35, sine 17.35 equals 0.298. 81.29821. We're out five digits and we rounded. That seven made the one. Okay, let's do the cosine. Again, careful with these numbers. They'll you transpose them real easy and then you're all messed up. Cosine 48.23. Cosine 48.23 equals 0 0.66614. 0 0.66614. And now we do this division here. So 0 0.2982, 29821, 66614 equals 0. 0.4476. What are we? We're 0. 0.44767. And so what we have here is the sine amplitude is equal to 0. 0.44767. We need to go just amplitude. So we take the sine and we put it over here, sine inverse of 0, 4, 4, 7, 6, 7. We punch this into our calculator, and we get the amplitude in quadrantal notation. So second, 
sine inverse, point four four seven six seven equals twenty six point six. Twenty six point six. Ha. Don't want to do that. 26.6 .6 degrees. We need to name this thing. We name it east or west based on the bearing. So it's west, right? It was setting. And then we name it north or south based on the declination. In this case, it's north. Okay, now we need to figure out our amplitude from north. This is amplitude north of west. So let's, let's draw this out. And we'll say north, south, east, west. And so we are west and we are north of west by 26.6 degrees. So we're right here. So we need to add all this to 70 plus this 26.6. So the amplitude from north is going to equal... 270 degrees plus 26.6 degrees. So our amplitude from north equals 270 plus 26.6 equals 296.6. So 296.6 degrees true. Now we can put this in, we can correct the compass and calculate deviation. So T, V, M, D, C, right? And when we're going down here, we add west. So 296.6 degrees true. Variation was given, which was 13.0 degrees east. 13.0 degrees east. That means we subtract it. We're going from true to compass. We subtract 296.6. Minus 13 equals 283.6, 283.6 degrees <clears throat> magnetic compass now. Here we are, 283.7 PSC, 283.7 degrees PSC. So now we, we can see we're 0 0.1 different, right? So... 283.6 minus 283.7 equals 0 0.1. So we were getting bigger, right? 283.6 to 7, we need to add. So that means it was west. 0 0.1 degrees west deviation. Let's check. 7, there we are, A. 0 0.1 degrees west deviation is the answer to practice problem 7.